is relishing so much that he becomes higher. And then Radhika, she wants to again higher. So it's like, like anu Anurag is called maybe? Yeah. So, it is very difficult to define sometimes who is subject to the object. object. <laughs> right. <laughs> This changing of subject and object. To see that, huh? See that we have to become Radha Dasi. Mm. Without taking the shelter in a loving mood, we cannot realize it. Mm. That's the problem. We if we want to as only research for the God consciousness, we cannot see. We involved in his opulence with my subject consciousness, then we cannot relish the reality of that. When we are in bodily consciousness, then we are subject, no? right. and we are not qualified to see. Mm -hmm. Maybe even we want to be object. We have to in be bodily consciousness. the object of servant, mm. object of Radhika. Right, that we want. Mm. And why? Because we know Krishna, and Krishna becomes subject, so we have to take shelter of Krishna object. Right. <laughs> Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Radhe. Today morning also class two. Huh? Two. Today have a morning two. class. Two in the morning. Not every morning. <laughs> no. Not every morning. What is that you want to read? Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. This book I got in Monday the garbage box. Garbage box? Yeah. But it's very interesting, Prabhupada. This Prabhupada book, right? Yeah. So, this book title is Perfect Questions and Perfect Answers, Srila Prabhupada. And chapter name is Acting in Narity of Krishna. Hmm? Acting in Narity of Krishna. Radha Radha. <coughs> and uh, can I read middle what I have Yeah, yeah. Which book is this? Perfect. Perfect questions, perfect answers from Srila Prabhupada. Mm. Long time before we did that. <laughs> we forgot. Mm. Prabhupada, uh, disciple asking, disciple name is Bob. What about the person who is not very aware of God, but what means uh, not uh, realize God? Then Prabhupada answers. Shira Prabhupada. Then he is an animal. A person, a person, a person, well, not charge. <laughs> a person who does not know. What is God? Or one who 
who does not try to understand what is God. He is an animal. Huh? He is a person. Animal. Bob is a question. What about innocent people? Chira Prabhupada. The animal is very innocent. If you cut its throat, it won't protest. Mm. So, innocence is not a very good qualification. <laughs> <laughs> The animals are all innocent. Therefore, you get the chance to cut their throats. So, to become innocent is not a very good qualification. Our proposition is that One must be very, very intelligent. Wow. And then he can understand Krishna. Mm. To become an innocent, ignorant, simple is not a very good qualification. Mm. Simplicity is all right. But one should not be unintelligent. <clears throat> so still conversation is going on, but uh, what I feel is this innocent is not a good qualification. This is our situation. Innocence, uh, normal innocent. Uh, inno <laughs> innocent is innocent. not a good qualification. Yeah, innocent is. In animal, animal consciousness. <coughs> 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 Krishna Bhatt Hoye Bado Chatur. <coughs> Chatur means clever. Very clever. Very intelligent. That is Krishna Bhatt. If not, it is a material Bhatt. Yeah. Involve himself in material activities. They are innocent people. Then, Bob, question. Hmm. Can you tell me what intelligence is? Shura hmm. <laughs> Prabhupada. Intelligence means to know what one is, what this world is, what the God is. Um, what their interrelations The animal does not know what he is. He thinks that he is the body. Similarly, anyone who does not know what he is is not intelligent. And Bob, disciple Bob. Mm. What about a person who tries to do what is right? <laughs> Next level. And is very conscious about the things he does. Mm. What about a person who tries to do? what is right and is very conscious about the things he does. Wow. Mm. 
like the servant who is very honest to his master but knows that if he were not honest, he would not be caught. If a person mm -hmm. like that stays honest anyway, is that some kind of good karma? Shira Prabhupada. Yes. To become honest is also good. Sorry. Good to, oh, it is also good karma. <coughs> How to become a good man is described in the Bhagavad Gita very elaborately. So, if you become qualified with transcendental qualities, then you will be liberated. And if you have demoniac qualities, you will be more and more entangled. Unfortunately, more than people do not know what is liberation. Wow. And what is entanglement? <laughs> they are so ignorant. Mm. They do not know. If you, if I ask you, what is liberation? Is can you answer? Mm. In quotation, no answer. And if I ask you, what is entanglement is? And if I ask you, what is entanglement is? Can you answer? Quotation, again, no answer. These words are there in the Vedic literature. Liberation and entanglement. But at the present moment, people do not even know what they mean. They are so ignorant and foolish. And still, they are proud of their advancement in knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> you are a professor, a teacher. Can you explain what this liberation is? And Bob, not adequately, because if I could explain it, then I would become liberated very first. Shira Prabhupada. But if you don't know, if you do not know what the liberation is, then where is the question of past or slow liberation? You 
you should first know what liberation is. If you don't know where the train is going, mm -hmm. then what is the use of knowledge? Whether it is going fast or slow? So, what is liberation? You daily ask me. Now, I am asking you. <laughs> Bob laugh. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> Let me think for a moment. Shira Prapa. Liberation is described in the Srimad Bhagavata. The exact Sanskrit word for liberation is mukti. So that is defined in the Srimad Bhagavata. One should stop do one should stop doing all nonsense and become situated in his original position. Wow. That is liberation. Wow. <laughs> Unfortunately, the roof sitting. Are not poison. My constitutional poison. If we don't want, we are foolish. One should stop doing all nonsense and become situated in his original position. That is revelation. <laughs> Yeah, probably. <laughs> 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 Underline this. <clears throat> yeah, that's why I'm exciting this morning. I found this. <laughs> I'm <was> still. <laughs> and what happened? Our nature to create more things. Mm -hmm. To more suffering. We don't want to to try to develop this consciousness. This is animal consciousness, body consciousness. should stop doing all the nonsense <coughs> and become situated in <coughs> become situated in situated 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 in his original position wow under mm. that is revelation Unfortunately, today, nobody knows his original position. Wow. <laughs> or how to act properly in that position. Wow. 
The modern population is so ignorant about their life. It is a very awkward position. They do not know. <laughs> Maybe otherwise better to read English, my pronunciation. Yeah. <coughs> but, but they, 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 um, they, they are ignorant of their of their um position, this is, you know, their, their true position, their spiritual sort of, right? What to speak of, I mean, they're not even, you know, cognizant of their material position, you know? They're ignorant even of the material world, doing so much nonsense. What to speak of the spiritual world, so they're completely an illusion. Tamaguna <coughs> so, you know, it's, and this is back in the 60s, this book was 60s, late 60s, early 70s maybe. I think it was like one of the early books. So already 50 years have gone by and the Kali Yuga as progresses, the cloud, the darkness is getting thicker and thicker. And people even today even more ignorant than they were. And this way we have a association of ignorance people. Ignorance people association. Mm -hmm. How we associate my mind with them. Mm -hmm. well. And he's mentioning that he's talking to the professors, not not some foolish people from the street or homeless people. He's talking to the professors and asking them, can you explain me about liberation? He's not asking somebody who is an ignorant person, no? like materially, they are intelligent. Shall we continue? We will go to Prambhakti Chandurika. Is this okay? Will they continue or change the book? What is it? This one? Yeah. Yeah, this is what I touched my heart. Thank you very much. Yeah, of course. That part is also nice. This is the highest. He said, what is, if you want to realize, then you have to know your constitution. But we want to realize material. This is animal consciousness. I'm innocent. My innocent is foolish. <coughs> I have to do something, and I start doing something. <laughs> This is my problem. I'm a totally animal. What is? Yeah, we have to improve all of this problem. Nobody is pundit. <laughs> if you become unconscious for a moment, the Maya will catch you. Foolishness will catch you. Animal consciousness will catch you. Anyone can happen to such. And we involve so much that we cannot come out. <laughs> this is the, the the vegan issue. The vegans are like this. They they identify so much with animals. Their whole principle centered. They're centered around this animal. This animal, 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 and then they descend into animal consciousness because they identify with the animals so much. You see, this is a problem, and then they. They don't care about God, they don't care about this material animal consciousness that's coming to them because of their, you know, when you focus on something, it, it becomes internal, right? You know, like we're always chanting the mantras, we're thinking about Radharani, so Radharani is manifesting in our hearts so much, you know, so, but also it can be happening 
with other subjects, other options. I remember my life when I was in material world. From this material consciousness involvement, it still is catching me. Like a, I born in the rich family, many properties, is still catching me. My family, my children, is still catching me. Why? To make me again to involve in the animal consciousness. Hmm. If the mercy of Radha Mohan is not there, it's very difficult to do. I know create very much thing, but it comes by my previous ability, and somebody create to involved with them. <laughs> you see, how much of they are creating and they don't know. We are doing. Or we have got with previous Sukhuti. My Gurudev say, karma asad karma asad karma. Mm. Means bad karma and good karma. Bad karma will give you sukriti, it will go on with you, and good karma also. So if you have a good karma, you will get a good benefit, circumstances, but you have to suffer with that. <laughs> like you have a good karma, that is God, the rich family birth, but the money, what will come to you, you have to work on that. This is your good karma. Asad karma, your animal consciousness will come. So both will go with us. I feel this. <laughs> and without sadhu sangha, it's not possible to come out. Because they are animal consciousness, animal sangha. Conditional. Mm. Is not intelligent. But Radha Mohan mercy is so nice. <laughs> that I am very free. Because I am in Vrindavan. And because I am with all of your association. I am very safe. If not, that what is going to happen, I don't know. Very different life. Hard life. To cross the ocean of this material world. <clears throat> hmm, but could have a, a question arise? Like we have good or bad karma, it doesn't matter. We have to find out our original position, right? Because if I karma, don't want to find out original position. We want to find out animal position. Yeah. <laughs> right? Sure. sure. And I want to be a good animal. Yes. 
professor animal. Innocent. <laughs> Innocent. Innocent and good animal. With the more fat that somebody will kill, they will get more flies. Alpha. Good flies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we are creating so, um, that we are creating good flies for your use. Not this is animal consciousness. Circle also regards like that. Mm. I'm feeling in Mongolia when I listen to this. I was living in animal consciousness. <laughs> Then we come here, difficult to understand what I am doing. Everything is wrong. Hmm. But when I realize here, then I see that uh, Prabhupada is. I come for doing something, I start doing something else, animal becoming. Hmm. From Kanai's question, this uh, about uh, intelligence knowledge, Prabhupada says, can I share from this one? Shira <coughs> Prabhupada, if I know that everything belongs to Krishna, I will not use anything without his permission. That is honesty. And that is knowledge. That is knowledge. If I know that everything belongs to Krishna, I will not use anything without his permission. That is honesty and that is knowledge. One who does not know this is ignorant. He is foolish. And a foolish man commits crimes. All criminals are foolish men. Out of ignorance, one breaks the law. So, Ignorance is not bliss. <coughs> Ignorance is not bliss. It's not bliss. 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 Uh, bliss. Uh, bliss. bliss. Joyful. Okay. <coughs> so ignorance is not joy. But it is folly to be wise. Where ignorance is bliss. That is a difficulty. The whole whole world whole world is enjoying ignorance. <laughs> and when you talk about Krishna consciousness, they do not very much appreciate it. If I say Krishna is the proprietor, you are not the proprietor. Again, if I say Krishna is proprietor, you are not the proprietor. 
you will not be very much satisfied. In quotation, everyone is laughing. Just see, ignorance is the bliss. So, it is my foolishness to say the real truth. So, it is my foolishness to say the real truth. <laughs> Therefore, skip the garnish. <laughs> Therefore, it is folly to be wise where ignorance is bliss. So we are talking the risk of offending people. They think we are fools. <laughs> we are we are intelligent. So, <coughs> we are honest. If I say to a rich man, you are not the proprietor. Krishna is a proprietor. So whatever money you have, spend it for Krishna, he will be angry. <laughs> if you instruct a rascal, he will become angry. Therefore, we go as beggars. My dear sir, you are a very nice man. I am a sannyasi beggar. So I want to construct a temple. Can you spare some money? So he will think. Oh, here is a beggar. Give him some money. Quotation, everyone laugh. But if I say, Dear sir, you have millions of dollars at your disposal. That is Krishna's money. Give it to me. I am Krishna's servant. Oh, he will chase me away. <laughs> he will not be very satisfied. Rather, if I go as a beggar, he will give me something. And if I tell him the truth, he will not give me a fair things. We, go, we convince him as beggars. We are not beggars. We are Krishna's servants. For ourselves, we don't want anything from anyone. Sri Rad, but, but, these are teachings. Read that. As per circumstances, these teachings. Yes. 
constitutional position that is liberation mm-hmm. or that is we don't believe liberation we don't want liberation we want bhakti bhakti start from my constitutional position before when we are in the material body we are with the senses and we are in the ego with the false ego <laughs> bhakti is not there we are doing sadhana bhakti we are not start at zero even the for the bhakti zero we are trying to be a living in goodness in goodness to balance my senses and it falls in you that is the practice we are trying to be balance myself from tamoguna and rajaguna that's it mm. Mm. nothing more than that Yeah. <laughs> And that practice we think that is a devotion. But this is the practice to come in satoguna, with goodness, without my constitutional position. my identification who i am my bhakti will not start we have to liberate from all my creation material involvement then bhakti can start understand we carry all things within with me and i want to do what the my wrong way we make the way wrong we make the way wrong we want senses also ego also to carry and all the circumstances material we want to carry it basically i was living in basement I say still I am getting everything. He watch. I do nothing now. Nothing. Talking with everyone. Nothing. I come in my original position from where I started. Mm-hmm. That's it. I come for bhajan. I'm trying to do some bhajan. That's it. <coughs> That is our inner voice, constitutional voice. <coughs> for what I come to take this body. we have to identify the truth when i will go there is no pocket for my dead body clothes that i will carry something priyad
fatto che quando però qua ha parlato della posizione originale nessuno dei devoti presenti gli ha chiesto che cos'era la posizione originale. I noticed that uh, when Prabhupada asked about the original position, as far as I know, nobody asked him what is this original position. Mm. <coughs> I noticed that when Prabhupada is talking about the constitutional position, the disciple, uh, nobody asked, as far as he knows, nobody asked what is this, this original position, constitutional position. That's the problem of me, ignorance, animal consciousness. <laughs> And when not I see it, still animal consciousness is I am carrying. Means my senses are is too high and my false ego is too high. False ego. I am living in Tamaguna and Rajaguna. Not in Sataguna. Ignorance, innocent ignorance. <laughs> right? Innocent ignorance. Is ignorance. Is ignorance. Tamaguna. <coughs> right? Mm. And I want to improve it up to Sataguna. I don't know about Suddha Sattva, Avishuddha Sattva. Pure goodness. And pure spiritual goodness. They don't have words even. Sattva Suddha Sattva Guna and Vishuddha Sattva That is my original position. Vishuddha Sattva Guna. That is, he said, liberation. Means the condition of liberation means you are not involved there. He is asking me yesterday, my son, what you want, what I bring. I say, I don't want anything. <laughs> but I have to think what you can. <laughs> Some vehicles <bring>. maybe. <laughs> what you can bring. I don't know what to bring. <laughs> maybe ask from Rasa. <laughs> she can know, but I don't want. I don't know everything is there. <laughs> what you will bring? Mm. One time might come, maybe I watch to buy, uh, uh, say to a priest, I say, Supracharya is sitting in table, I want to hold it in my hand, Supracharya. <laughs> I, I, Who is my this idea? Mukhrusta Sukhraja. I I was more close to Sukhraja and I keep in body that you know leave you. <laughs> Mm. I will say, please don't bring my phone to me. Mm. <laughs> I will say this. I, I phone not. I, I watch. I, watch. <laughs> I have to say this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
the, they, it's not a mistake that it's iPhone, iWatch, iPad. It's all I, about me. I, 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 But Gurudev, I watch is actually good because it's I'm a viewer. I watch. I watch. <laughs> Please don't advise me. <laughs> My eye is very tricky. They said, this is the good you are watching. <laughs> but when they will start watching me, they will catch uh, It's like a thermometer, Guru. Yeah. Well, we can check ourselves how much we are yes, okay. involved. <laughs> I'm very much thankful to Mm -hmm. One time, mm -hmm. I got crazy with iWatch, iPhone. <laughs> My two, three, four hours taking energy <coughs> to find something from YouTube. <laughs> News and this and that. One day I become very tired. I say, Rasa, delete my all this nonsense that I don't know how to find it out. But it's not deleting. No. <laughs> it's still coming. <laughs> that place enter the... Um, you see. And then one dance also comes. Ladies are dancing, <laughs> and all the kirtan of the is very nice katha, and all sadly people, and one was lady dancing, like a nightclub. That was also there. By, by mistake you click that, only it will be that. How they catch Maya, you cannot know. This is every moment we should watch. So, un, un, you know, unconsciously we click the all, all Maya, all nonsense come. How they catching it? Maya, we don't know. Hmm. If, Desire is not to constitution. Only know your constitution position, you are all free. That is Vishuddha Sattva. But even Vishuddha Sattva. Mm. Then we can understand why Sadhu live very simple way, you know, very lonely place, don't, don't what to say, associate with, you know, other people, just do bhajan, just simply madhukari, just concentrate all the time bhajan. We can understand, right? Because it's easy to, to stay in constitutional position. Mm. Mm. I, I don't think that's a constitutional position. Yeah, of course, it depends on the person, but uh, say, like, uh, like a Binoda Baba is more or less a simple, you know. Like, uh, I don't know how many hours doing bhajan. <laughs> and then, just uh, meeting darshan times, uh, maybe a little bit. And then, do parikiram. And then again, kirtan. The day is composed by easy to remember, rather. Mm. 
They create the circumstances mm. to be in constitutional position. Mm. They create the circumstances. Mm. When my circumstances will become favorable, mm. when the day will come in my life to, to get the favorable circumstances, mm. That is the point. Yeah. Mm. It's not easy in your country to do it. Right. But this is the only circumstances with the association of Vaishnava that while looking to each other, we change it. Mm-hmm. All of you are inspiring. After so much austerity, you leave your country and come here for what? Some benefit, na? Right. Spiritual right. benefit. And I am living here, I don't want to. What a crazy idea I have. You are a teacher. Mm. Still, I am in my senses of all seasons. I drink Amrita and come here. I will not leave this body. What I will bring, bring with me, my karma will go with me. Right? How much time I give for you, my Lord? My today, <laughs> how much time I use for nothing. Hmm. Yeah. Go on. Very nice Prabhupada teaching. So, Kuridev, does it mean that actually it's not necessary to live? Here or there is about our consciousness, but if the circumstances are more favorable, it's easier to get there. But once you be there, it's also no problem to stay anywhere like this. No, like some Babaji stay very secluded to Bajan, but after they also um, come out again, they don't stay very secluded. But their bow is very fixed. Yeah. They are not changed with any influence. Yeah. They are bhav is a sthai. They are fixed with their service. Mm. They do not deviate with their constitutional position in again to jump out from that but material body and desire for something else. Right. That is the Difficult without association in the beginning. In the beginning. Yeah. Everything can disturb us. So huh? easy, a, anything, like small things. Any, anything. So easy shaking us. Huh? Yeah. And yeah. again start from zero. Yeah. Then we go back. Mm. Then again ABCD start learning. Mm. So why not to, to avoid the crazy thinking. It all starts from the mind. Right. I start creating everything. Right. Hmm. Hmm. But what is this game of Krishna that he created the material universe? for us to be in here. Hmm. <laughs> Material body is given, and when we are the wound of Mother, we pray that, please bring out. I am so much suffering in Mother wound with blood and pus. When I will come, I will never forget. And when come out and start eating grains and different things, then we again mind start coming in bodily consciousness. 
and then we start doing influence of the false ego habits to create suffering. Hmm. Hmm. Gyas ashram is not bad, but involving in that place is the bad. Involvement, how much my mind is involved in which circumstance, what I am working for, that's very important. The consciousness. Your, yeah. Your consciousness, mind, where you keep. Open the gija. I did it. In five minutes, I will start the pocket. Uh, yeah. So the place is not bad, it is our consciousness where it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the point. Mm -hmm. Could you leave in this point also? Maybe why is this material a planet exist? And why we have a free will, no? That it's our decision to focus on Him and start loving to Him. He is not... It was our decision, like this, something to, to become a separate from Mother. We want to be independent. So now we have to find back our way. Mother cannot press us to come back to her. We have to decide and come back and find our way to her shelter again. Problem with this, my fault, you know. Yes. And the fault, you go, say you are body. And then you see, us, I'm giving you the truth. You can enjoy with your senses. The toys. Toys. Mm. And soul is not exist. Who says soul? You never see. They talk, but they cannot show you. But I can show you senses, and I can give you feelings. So stay in truth. <laughs> <laughs> they are living in false and they are teaching false. <laughs> Ignorant make my faults go to me. Innocent animal. Eat, drink, eat, drink, sex. Answer. This is animal consciousness. My false ego is very happy with this. <laughs> no disturbance, they want. Okay, stop it here. Yeah. But it's important for day-to-day -day human life. <coughs> Why we come to Vrindavan? Why we want to share this Mahajan book to keep change my consciousness, my mind, foolish mind, animal mind. This animal can also do. When I have an animal body, I am doing this. But now is a chance to be have a human body. And if we will practice like animal, what I am thinking to get birth, animal birth. From human, I took again birth in animal. 
where the what I am doing or thinking, I will get that body. Right or not? Yes. <coughs> Sounds logic. Huh? Sounds logic. And when I change myself, I will get that body. Mm-hmm. When I have to decide now or after ten years after, and if I die in between that, or one year after, if I die in between that, Sometimes it's good to have context just to, instead of starting in the middle of something. So if I go back just a little bit, it'll make more sense. Yeah. So <coughs> this is the verse number 10. Uh, they revealed the treasure of love. They revealed the treasure of love of the adolescent pair of Vrindavan. They meaning Rupa Snatana. <coughs> Which is a hundred thousand times purer than gold. All glories to Rupa and Sanatana. Give me this treasure. I will wear this gift like a jewel necklace around my neck. Why is it gold? Pure gold. Because gold has to burn to make pure. Go to the jewelry's bring the jewelry's to the goldsmith. What he will do? The, all the jewelry's they will melt it. In your front. You say, ah, this is my jewel. Ornaments, why are you melting? But so much heat, so much heat give that and put some chemicals that all the metals will come out separate. And the form will change. The original form of the jewelry is not there. And this melting is my constitution. Without melting, I want to become pure gold. How possible? And to do that, you have to go through the heat high temperature <laughs> to melt it and the impurity has to go out from the, my my collection so is it, if you want to see love and you want to enjoy with senses you first become pure to see the divine love. Because it's di- divine what you are doing at the name of love, it was not love. It was sense enjoyment, sexual. There was no love, but you give the name of love. But I can show you pure love. It goes with the purity. 
not with their sense and their material bodies, identification. So first you become pure, your constitutional position, soul, and soul will take a spiritual body, and that spiritual body has also one soul. That is Radhika. If the soul is not there, your body not exist. So a spiritual body will not exist if the mind is not fixed there. In that soul. Understand? Then again you will come in this suffering material body, then you will start finding maya in material world <laughs> and suffer. You want to create as a Brahma here something new. And then you become Vishnu to maintain that creation. <laughs> Brahma, Vishnu. Then one day has to come to distract everything, destroy everything to run away. That is liberation. Then you go in the clutch of liberation, not in bhakti. This we do. Mm. Yeah. Maintain, this, create, maintain, and destroy it. Sometimes you used to say that, then we have to again create, if everything is good, then we have to again create the difficulties. Okay. Because we want to stay. Suffer. More. Suffer. <laughs> so we have to destruct it. If it's good, it's, we have to destruct it. Destroy it. Destroy it. I see in the European world, I don't know, American world, everything is nice. They are not happy. <laughs> because no difficulties are there. So they disturb all what is the comfortable life. To start new again. <laughs> Why? To involve, live in that consciousness more and more. Krishna wants to help you to give comfortable life, but I want to destroy it. To be involved, keep my involvement in material world. We don't want to be devotee of Krishna. <laughs> so, so simple, innocent, <laughs> foolish animal. <laughs> Prabhupada's word, foolish and animal, innocent. Are they? These are foolish words, innocent. You are innocent people. Means you are totally animal, more conscious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're thinking that if we are innocent, maybe somebody will be compassionate to us. Ah, the compassion and they make good food for you, and when the fat comes, then they kill and eat. Eat it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. How to they have so much compassion to you. So much compassion. <laughs> My God. <laughs> So who is Brahma? I am a Brahma, I am a maintainer, Vishnu, and we will destroy one day, but we will become tired, liberation. Why to do this nonsense again and again? By liberation you mean death or...? That is liberation. We are so tired now that we want to run away, hundred <laughs> percent. 
Vishnu cannot maintain us. Brahma cannot create. And they are doubtful. Brahma was doubtful in Krishna. Because he thinks that he is, the, he is the creator. Nobody is creator. Means all these stories are very meaningful. Well. So pure gold means understand. Purity has to come. We are very impure. How we can enter there? <coughs> Without my constitutional position. And what is the blockage to enter in constitutional position? My impurity. Mm. Not enough heating. Mm. No boiling. Mm. <laughs> we have to tolerate so much heat to be a pure. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yes. When you make the pure gold, you have to melt it, no? <laughs> to separate. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Wow. Wow. <coughs> so <coughs> the next he starts with the <coughs> with the gopi bhav. He's saying gopis do not think of their personal happiness. All their thoughts and activities are for Krishna's happiness. Why? When you become gopi bhav means soul consciousness. <coughs> think for yourself. Our soul can think for you, his, his existence. He will think about the Savior. Who is my Savior? Who created me? That is Gopiva. He is a basic in the spiritual life to be a Gopiva. To serve the Lord, serve the his devotee. This is the basic, basic, basic rule. But where? You cannot see without association of the positive association. You will involve yourself differently. Read, I have to go. <coughs> Big house. Yeah. They, they, have, they have given up everything else but Krishna. And their passions are purely for Krishna's happiness. The service of my lover is full of happiness and is much sweeter than the bliss of uniting with him. Wow. This is the heart's cry of the Vraj Gopis. Yeah. I read again. The service of my lover is full of happiness and is much sweeter than the bliss of uniting with him. Wow. This is the heart's cry for Vraj Gopis. Yeah. Yeah. Now, above all of them, I have to skip now forward to this part we haven't read yet. Above all of them, so next level, above all of them is the Madanakya Mahabhav of Srimati Radharani. 
in which even the most subtle, selfish oh, yeah, yeah, okay, desires okay, okay. have vanished, and which is even more pure than gold molten a hundred thousand times. Yes, it was there. Above all of them is the Madanakya Mahabhav of Shimati Radharani, in which even the most subtle selfish desires have vanished, and which is even more pure than gold molten a hundred thousand times. In their books, Srila Rupa and Sanatana Goswami have elaborately described the love of Sri Sri Radha Madhav with all detailed examples. The confidential love of Sri Sri Radha Madhav, which was previously hard to comprehend even by Lord Brahma and Uddhava, has been revealed <clears throat> by Sri Rupa and Sanatana in their books in such a way that ordinary souls of the Kali Yuga age <clears throat> can easily comprehend as well as practice it. They have revealed such a love. Then again, Yugala Kishore Prema, Lakshabana Yeno Hema, means that the love of Sri Radha's girlfriends for the adolescent pair, Sri Sri Radha Madhava, is even purer than gold molten a hundred thousand times. Yeah. Even purer. <laughs> they are always happy when Sri Sri Radha Madhava happy. They relish the sweetness of Sri Radha Madhav's purest love. It's their sole treasure. They are always happy when Sri Sri Radha Madhav are happy. The relish of the sweetness of Sri Radha Madhava's purest love is their sole treasure. Soul, S O L E, soul, the only treasure. Srila Kaviraj Goswami Pad has written Radha and Krishna's pastimes are very confidential. Those in servant mood or parental mood cannot perceive them. Only the Sakis are able to gauge them. From these Sakis, their pastimes extend. Without the Sakis, these pastimes cannot be nourished. The Sakis extend them, and the Sakis relish them. Without the Sakis, these pastimes have no goal. <clears throat> Amongst the Sakis, the Majaris, Sri Radha's maidservants, who love Radha more than Krishna, have the purest love for the divine pair. For even though the Sakis do not desire to amorously meet Sri Krishna either, by Sri Radharani's wish or efforts, they may still meet with Sri Krishna. It's described in Chaitanya Charitamrita. The nature of the Sakis is indescribable. They do not covet personal pastimes with Krishna. Rather, they are millions of times happier 
when Krishna plays with Radhika, then if he would enjoy with them. Although the Sakis do not think of enjoying with Krishna, still Radhika diligently endeavors to have them meet him. She sends them to meet Krishna under various pretexts. And that makes her again millions of times happier than if she would personally meet Krishna. This is interesting. Yeah. She said, I'll read it again, it's, it's interesting. She sends them to meet Krishna under various pretexts. And that makes her, again, millions of times happier than if she would personally meet Krishna. In this way, the purity of their mutual love nourishes the mellows. And when Krishna sees the love of all of them, he is satisfied. So this is why Radhika sends Saki to meet Krishna. And then, uh, it makes her million times happy than if she would personally meet Krishna. Can I say something? Oh. So, the Hadini Shakti of Krishna, this is his loving potency. So, Radhika, she unknowingly, maybe even she wants to engage everyone in this love. You see, this is the purpose of the Sadini Shakti. It's to spread, it's to permeate everything. You see, this is the nature of that Radini. It can't be contained, it can't be bottled only for Radhika. You see, Radhika is that Vadini Shakti. So it's expanding constantly into hundreds of Manjaris, hundreds of Sakis. So naturally, Radhika wants these Sakis to feel that love strongly. That's why she creates, she makes up reasons why they should go to Krishna. You see, because that's her desire. It makes her so happy when she sees the Sakis engaging with Krishna. Then the ultimate realization of this Ladini is manifest. You see? And it's extending to all of us eventually too, as we develop that Manjari God. You see, this is the grand scheme of this whole thing. Uh, I'm so happy we are getting very deep into the subject. Maybe we can continue downstairs? Yeah, sure. I'm so sorry to interrupt, but uh, Guru is taking shower already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. We need some brothers. Yeah, yeah. Five okay. minutes. <laughs> Thank, you. <coughs> Thank you. So sorry. Just starting to flow. <laughs> I should not have stopped. <laughs>